Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Starko Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video guys. Uh, with a more new event coming up pretty damn soon. Today we're gonna go with uh, Snorri as character review because we want to finish all the human characters before the actual uh, event is out so we you guys can actually just check my playlist of the human characters which is down in the description down below and you can actually check out uh, how to build and play every single human character in the game so you sure are ready for your more doom event but before we get into story guys uh, if you are level 15 or below make sure to use the promo code start code to get ten dollars worth of freebies to do so it is very very simple you go in settings you go and use promo code and you enter the word the starko s-t-a-r-k-o you press ok and you will receive ten dollars worth of freebies which include the 500 drag wins 250 thousand gold uh, and other things uh, with that too it is definitely worth it for new players to use that it will give you a very very good head start with that said guys let's jump into the roster let's switch that to human character so we can find snorri and here he is my snorri guys so we're gonna take a look at the skills which skills we should actually get to uh, level six and then after that we're gonna take a look at what's important with the runes and what's important with the artifacts so uh, we always start the skills on the right so the first skills we're gonna look at is dragon hunter the passive ability snorri gain the 30 percent magic armor and 30% tenacity when not in berserk stance. If a freezer is on the bat on the battlefield, it'll receive the same buff. And honestly, this is totally worthless for a snore because you will always be in the berserk stance. You will always be in Berserk extends to have more speed, more crits, and do more damage. So this passive ability is a piece of crap and is totally worthless for him. So and then you have that at level one is enough for him because you will uh, pretty much it, the only time that this passive ability will work is at the start of the fight before Snorri gets his first turn to use his third skill that is literally the only time you shall have this ability this passive ability in effect so it's definitely worthless in my opinion. Next skills we have the Berserk Stance. Uh, Snorri has assume a Berserk Stance and gain 50% of his turn meter. Remove 3 debuff and while in Berserk Stance, Snorri gain 25% critical chance and 40 speed. You see, you never want to lose that 25% critical chance or that 40 speed, which is why you will never get out of Berserk Stance, especially that this effect cannot be prevented or remove using the ability again will cancel burst extents which will which will be totally useless which will enable the uh, passive ability but still will be totally useless so uh, this this skill is actually very very important to get to level six um i will have to say it's the most important ability to get to level six because it's kind of become a passive ability at this point since you have it enable it is a passive ability that will grant you 25 percent crit chance and 40 speed so having it to level uh, 6 it's a lot better than having it to level 5 you can see 20 20% 20 critical rate versus 25% and 30 speed versus 40 speed this is a huge difference so definitely need to get this ability to level 6 then you have the second ability deadly whirlwind uh, sorry I murdered this word guys but anyway deal 220% of physical damage to all enemies and inflict it bleeding for two turns now is this ability important to get to level uh, six no this ability can be totally fine at level five uh, but to have more AOE damage you definitely want it to, to want to get it to level six but it's only 35 percent physical damage to each target but with high critical damage that will still do quite a good amount of damage so i do recommend and the second position to actually get this ability to level six but it is not as important as the third skill and then we have the first skill still 250% physical damage to an enemy and a 50% chance to gain accuracy increase for two turns now uh, if you get that skill down to level 
uh, 5 it's deal 210% physical damage and 35% chance to get, to get in an accuracy increase for 2 turns. A currency increase is not really that imper important unless you're fighting a team with eye dodge which it's not going to be the case when you're actually using Snorri 95% of the cases so a currency is not important for him so definitely this ability at level 5 is perfect for him. You don't need this ability at level 6 unless you have the extra scroll to actually spend on this ability. So the priority list for the ability on Snorri is skill number 3, priority number 1, skill number 2, priority number 2, and skill number 1, priority number 1, and priority number 3, and then the passive ability do not worry about this passive ability you can stay at level one if you want to well if you want to get his power level up you can get this to level six but uh, it is a waste of uh, maths in my personal opinion so with that said guys how do you play this guy it's pretty simple first turn you are going to be using his third skill then you will use the second skill on cooldown and then the first skill as a filler and that is pretty much all you play this guy very 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 simple well unless if the other team has the buff immunity you will not use the second skills because your bleeding will not get applied so you're going to skip that second skill until uh, the debuff immunity is removed from the opponent team and that's the only time you will not be using the second skill on cooldown now with that said let's move to the runes so the runes what we want to go with since he already get 25 percent critical chance uh, we want to add a little bit of critical chance so he's almost guaranteed to critical to critical it and then we want to put a lot of critical damage so we can actually get a massive critical it's when the massive damage when we get a critical ch a critical hit pretty much so that's what's really important and you want to get his speed as high as possible to go with the extra 40 speed he will be gaining so uh two critical chance four critical damage you could go two critical chance of four damage uh you know the damage here the, the the regular damage runes you can go that but i prefer critical damage in my personal opinion because it will crits a lot so i think that is more beneficial for him so the primary is you want to get for first primary northeast you want to get the speed obviously at uh, the south primary you want to get critical damage and the d northwest primary you want to get potency so it's bleeding get apply as much as possible then after that the secondary stats on on the on every runes pretty much uh priority number one critical chance priority number two potency and priority number three speed now and then add priority number four will be damaged obviously you can see the pattern here uh well this one is shit actually uh we only got damage on this one but this one you can see critical chance potency critical chance a lot of critical chance here and a little bit of damage uh critical chance damage uh, here we got damage and speed. Seven speeds are actually pretty decent. And here you can see more critical chance. So a lot of critical chance as secondary stats, which is uh, the most important in my personal opinion. Now, if we take a look at those stats, you can see we have 52.99% critical chance, which you can add the 25% you're gonna get from the berserk. So that will that will give me a 77%, well, 77.99% critical chance. So 77.99% uh, might it will get a critical hit which will do here 227.5 percent damage instead of 100 percent damage so this is a lot of damage with a lot of critical chance so this is why you want to focus critical chance and critical damage as much as possible now if you go in the other stats we have the speed we have 156 speed here which like i said you'll get an extra 40 so it will technically be at 196 speed you always want to be around 200 speed not much speed on secondary stats so that kind of hurt me a little bit here uh, it could be a little bit better but still going to be at 196 speed when we have the burst or extends up so it is definitely good enough and 67.28 percent potency it is pretty solid the objective and potency is to reach around 60 percent if you can so 67.28 percent is definitely a very very solid so you can see the pattern here guys critical chance critical damage potency speed 
all the four stats that are very important on him and then if we can actually take a look at the artifact what do you want as an artifact on this fella is critical damage by critical damage the critical chance is not that important on him uh, at this point because we already have 70 well let's say 78 percent critical chance so uh, don't really need that more than that and critical damage uh, will give you more than actually if you get damage because you will get a lot of critical hit like i said many times and uh well more critical chance you add more critical damage you have and more damage you you will do so uh cup of tear is very very uh solid with him uh definitely and um that little hp uh add into that artifact also will allow him to survive a little bit better you can see his hp is actually uh not that high uh without without that artifact is only at 21,000 hp which is actually quite low for that kind of character so that hp will help him a lot so that's pretty much my personal favorite setup for this character if you have a different opinion on how to build him and how to play him guys make sure to share it in the comment section also if you have other question or comment or feedback obviously uh, that is pretty much all we have for this video today tomorrow we're gonna be back with some more awesome content so make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel to get notified when this video go live and also guys Friday Saturday night we are streaming the new PC game marvel's avenger make sure to check it out and come have fun with us on the stream 7 p.m pacific time every friday and saturday night so guys thank you for watching this video fully enjoy the content and i will see you guys again in the next video thank you